Lubricating a bearing can be thought of as a very easy task. And yet, in true sense, it is easy if you do it the right practices. Putting too much grease in, detrimental. Too little grease, detrimental. I liken it to walking through a swimming pool, water up to your chest. How hard is that? That's very difficult. Same thing with the bearing. You put too much grease in there, you're causing too much resistance. Too little grease can cause too much contact with the metals, metal on metal. So a fine line in the middle. Um, we're going to be illustrating today precision fill, as close as we can get to factory suggestions. But we have some tips for you for rules of thumb if you don't have those guidances. When lubricating your machine tool bearings, some of the best practices can be involving using gloves, keeping contaminants out of your bearings, which can lead to their failure. Today we are going to be lubricating a ball screw support bearing. We're using one of our CC marked grease syringes and we have our rubber gloves. We've tried to simulate a clean environment. That's what you want to do at your shop. This black tube is the grease that we're using in our pre-filled syringes. It's made by Kluber Lube. It's called NBU 15 grease. It comes in handy 50 gram tubes. We put it in syringes for exact fill. This is the, the industry suggested grease for most all machine tool bearings. So today we're demonstrating proper lubrication of a notchy ball screw support bearing. They come with preservation oil. Um, today's preservation oil matches well with most grease you use, so you do not, you used to need to flush these out, clean them out, get all the, all the oil out, and then grease them. Today you can leave the oil that's in there, you just want to want to wipe off any excess oil to get ready for your grease. And this particular bearing is 30 tab 06. 30 means it's got 30 millimeters of ID in it. The free cavity space is calculated by the manufacturer. We found that in the catalog. The exact CC recommended fill for this is 2.4. We've got our CC marked syringe with our Kluber grease. You can see five CC increments. Today we're going to put in 2.4 CCs. We're going to get close. Um, way better than just trying to eye it or just guessing how much grease. Um, so we're going to just lay the bearing on a flat surface. Be as clean as you can. If you have a clean room to use, please use that. Always use your gloves. Try to keep everything you can out of that bearing. And we're just going to take our CC syringe and we're going to go around the raceway. Get it in between all the balls, past the seal. Here's your 2.4. And then you're just gonna give it a gentle couple of rotations to turn. Get that kind of worked in there. Try not to touch the side of the bearings too much. Um, and let the grease do its thing. The grease knows how to find its way in there. And you'll be good to go. So we, show, we showed you some good practices how to properly lubricate a bearing. Now we're going to show you some stuff that's commonly found in machine shops around the country. I'm trying to avoid these mistakes. Um, first of all, you can see I'm not wearing gloves anymore. Get, get a pair of gloves. Um, the oils on your hands, the contaminants get inside that bearing cause failure. Um, we talked about the preservation oil that comes in a bearing. You want to you want to wipe that off. So definitely take the step to clean it out. So, Dirty shop towel, this is used all the time. People don't think what's on these. They've been laying around, there's dirt, there's grime. You don't want that inside your bearing. So we're gonna just not wipe this clean. We're gonna leave that oil all over there, which is not good. We wanna get as much of that off the surface as we can. Another, another misconception is you need to, to just get the grease in the bearing any way you can. A lot of shops do this. Here's your shop grease, they'll take grease. Let's just get some grease in there. All right. Okay, we're rolling, we're rolling, got to get back on that machine, we got to get going so we can't, can't take too much time doing this, so that should be enough grease, no, let's do a little more, oh, a little dirty, that's okay, it's not okay, don't do this. So there's your typical way somebody greases a bearing, it's got a lot of grease in there, right? Sure, it looks good, now let's just show you this. Here's a, how a bearing should roll, nice and smooth. See what we've done? Remember the, remember the suggestion about the swim pool and how hard you would have to move through the pool? Too much grease? Here's what we're doing. Very hard to turn. Now, what's that bearing going to do inside your machine? It's not going to want to turn. It's going to slow down. It's going to break. It's going to fail. 